All right, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that've been following, you can tell behind me all kinds of nice, new, neat stuff. We're gonna cover a lot of that stuff in future videos. The focus of our video today is our custom detailing pressure washer setup. So without any further delay, it's 90 degrees in this garage. I'm sweating like a pig. Let's get after it. All right, so for my pressure washer, I chose the Karcher K1700 cube pressure washer. It's an awesome little machine. It's affordable, effective, lightweight, and small. I did a full review last week, so if you wanna watch it, I'll put a link above. I'll also put a link down in the description. So the only real bummer with this machine is, man, it was yellow. I mean, really yellow. Now that just doesn't look good in this setup. So I decided to pop the faceplate off, painted the battleship gray to match the rest of the setup here. I think it looks awesome. Leave a comment below and tell me what you think about it. You like the yellow better or you like the gray? All right, so let's talk about the things that are required to get this setup going. So I had to run a separate plug out here because I wanted it to be super custom. So I ran a dedicated circuit out here. I chose a 20 amp circuit. I figured once I'm in the wall doing the wiring, why not just pay a tiny bit extra and future proof it for any uh, larger machine I may get in the future. It does say it runs on a 15 amp and it has a pretty lengthy cord. So you could theoretically run it to a nearby uh, plug and, and use it just fine. I also ran some plumbing down. I wanted a dedicated hose bib specifically for this machine. I ran a burst proof stainless steel line to a quick disconnect. If I ever want to remove this machine off the shelf and take it off site, just quickly disconnect it and boom, it's out of here. Then uh, the water goes into the machine and out the front. But next let's talk about the shelf. I went with a stainless steel shelf and inside the wall, it required some extra studding. We wanted this thing to be super strong. And I'll tell you what, I could stand on this thing jumping up and down and it's not going anywhere. So we put that in there. That came out pretty sick. So the pressure washer line comes out of the front and down to this Cox hose reel. Now the Cox hose reel is super precision. It's quiet, it's commercial grade. Man, you could use this thing every day the rest of your life. No problem. On the reel, I did a hundred foot of hose. My thought with the hundred foot of hose is it's about a hundred foot to the furthest uh, place down my driveway. And I, I really don't want to be pulling the machine down, dragging it around. I want to get to everything I could possibly do with the hose that I have. And um, now I have that. I noticed no pressure drop, no reduction in, in uh, water flow. So why not? The hose is also non kinking. Anybody that's used a pressure washer, when you pull it out, man, it's all kinked up and you're trying to unravel it. And man, that is a mess. And we do not want that. There are several things we do want out of our system. We want it to be easy to get everything out and use it. We want it to work effectively. And then we want it to be super easy to put away. And as you can see with this one, you literally just wind it in. That's it. It's done. Um, so what I did choose to go with, it was rather expensive and there's a lot of hoopla with it, but I'll tell you what, the Obsessed Garage Mosmatic Sprayer, man, that sucker, it works really well, man. It's got a beautiful 40 degree no uh, nozzle on the end. It does a beautiful fan. And all in all, man, it works awesome. And this live swivel, I mean, as you can see, I mean, this pressure washer is currently on and pressurized and look at that. So whenever you're working, working an area, you're not twisting the hose with it. Literally, you're moving the nozzle separately. In my opinion, man, it is worth the money. So I went with the Mosmatic sprayer and the Mosmatic nozzle and I'm happy about it. One of the other parts of this system, I did a bucket fill. This is another uh, hose bib that I had installed. I'm not going to use this particular hose. That's ugly. That doesn't fit our high end desires that we have. So, but what I do want to do is I want to use this crappy one for a while and try to get the length figured out so that when I order a nice custom one, I get exactly what I want. So this is just temporary. All right. So that's a look at my custom detailing setup. 
leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about it. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. If you want to see future videos like this, or you enjoyed this video and found value in it, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, because one of my future videos will be one of these other products that I'll be uh, reviewing and going over. And I appreciate you stopping by. And all these little things will help get my videos seen by other people. Uh, so I appreciate it. All right. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah.